Hello, welcome to the Logan for Liberty podcast. I'm coming at you from the Pacific Northwest. I hope you are all doing fine. I want to ask you a question. Do you support the idea of communism? And what could I say that would change your mind? One of the reasons why I reject the idea of communism is because man needs an incentive to act. And in a free market capitalist system, incentives come in the form of monetary compensation. There's other forms of compensation, but typically it is money that we use. Communism fails to efficiently offer incentives for our actions. In a capitalist system, an incentive is always the idea that you can get promoted and make more. You can become a successful entrepreneur and make a bunch of money. Or the idea that scarcity is always a possibility. Therefore, you'll try your best to achieve success. You don't have any of that if you are guaranteed compensation, resources, or some sort of wage. As someone who rejects communism, I have a profound respect for individuals who risk everything on an idea and against all odds they succeed. Therefore I think they are entitled to the earnings that their risk generates. Yes, they may hire labor, but the workers they hired didn't put everything on the line in the same way that the entrepreneur did. Let me be clear, I don't hate workers. I've been a worker for many years, but I understand that I myself didn't risk anything to start the company that I currently work at. We seem to lose sight of the fact that jobs and businesses don't just manifest from thin air. I reject communism because of the lack of choice. How do you create a society free of hierarchies without limiting choice? You can't. Everyone is an individual. As a species, we are the product of a multifaceted cycle of factors that include free will, genetics, the environment, and more. That alone creates a whole list of possibilities of how a single individual will turn out. No two people will ever be the same. Some people will be better at certain things than others. Therefore, as long as differences exist, hierarchies will also exist. The only way to create a society absent of hierarchies is to defy human nature. You must fundamentally change the way that humans think and behave. In order to achieve communism, you must alter the way humans are concepted, born, raised, and taught. In order to do that, you must oppress what it means to be a human being. You must compress human desire and human emotion. The only way to do so is through control. If you invite communism, you invite the ability of a hierarchy to spread and trickle its way through every section of your life, ranging from economics, education, entertainment, living standards, thoughts, speech, romantic relationships, and anything you can think of. That is why I reject communism. <laughs>